don't think you've heard the last of me. Not in a long while. You haven't. Bastard. <laughs> Nora, Nora. <laughs> yes, Nora. Nothing, nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Come on, girl, what is it? What, what did she do to you? Just, just tell us, okay? <laughs> what is it? He <sighs> oh, just, just gave it to me in no uncertain terms. He's had his feel of me, oh. and that it's over between us. <laughs> the arrogant idiot said. And she used the 3.5 million naraka he bought me to mend my broken heart and style. Oh, can can no. you imagine that? No, no that, that was rude. Oh, God. So rude. Oh. Wait a minute. Nora, you're finished. No, just, just look at me. Look at me. Oh, God. Oh. I, should, I should have listened to you guys. You guys were saying the truth after all. I should have known. Listen, Rashid is... Bashir is nothing but a bloody son of a bitch. That's why he is. It's okay, Nora. Now look at me. It's alright. Look at where my stubbornness has landed me. Nora, look, it's okay. It's not your fault. Alright? Stop beating yourself up about it. It has happened, it has happened. Okay. If that you wearing there, you wearing there, you need to see the way he treated me like shit. Nora. If you were Nora. there, you would tell me to stop crying. You would tell Nora. me to continue crying. No. Nora, just, just stop crying, okay? <sighs> Please, this only means one thing. That Rashida is not good enough for you. And that's why everything happened the way it did. Okay? It's okay, it's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm okay. So, so, what is it you girls wanted me to do? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. You see, for, for this plan to work, something has to be done about Rashid's guards. Because you can't get anywhere near Rashid without seeing his guards first. They practically go everywhere with him. I see what you mean. They're going to pose some kind of danger to us. And it means we have to devise another plan. So as to let Rashid let off his guards. I mean, if we, if we can achieve that, then we could try and get around the guard too. Pardon me. Come on. I don't see how we can manage that. This guy we're talking about actually regards his guards as adding to his allure. And they're like a second skin to him. Oh my God. We're getting so close to our game plan. And now this just comes up. It's going to stand as an obstacle between us and achieving our mission. Jesus Christ, I just wish I could just do something myself. Just anything. Just, just do it. No, that, no, 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 no. no. That bastard. You know you can't. No, don't even think about that. But you know you can't do anything. Because your face is going to be a dead giveaway to your relationship with Ella. And that's going to ruin the plan. Don't even think about that. And still, Rashid cannot be let off the hook. I mean, we can't even fulfill our mission with, with his bloody bodyguards hovering around him 24-7 like flies. Girls, girls, why don't you leave everything to me? I think I don't know how to get Rashid to let his bodyguards off. Yeah? Love is an unleashed crime above Love is an unmistakable. Have I? told you yet what your fragrance does to me. Uh, 
I hope it's not an emergency. <laughs> Walk with me. <laughs> it's something funny. It's just that I find your guy, your guards quite amusing. <laughs> what about them that amuses you? You know, I don't know. Uh, well, they follow you everywhere you go. They stop when you stop. They march when they are ordered to. They remind me of toy soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> they are my royal guards. It befits my position to have as many guards as possible and they are trained to do my bidding I mean don't you like them don't they look smart in their red ties <laughs> look it's not like I don't like them it's just that come on who needs a guard in this day and age it's not like somebody's gonna pop up and steal you away you're different how how do you mean well you are the first lady that I have dated who is not blown away by my position or my wealth. And I like that. You see, as a matter of fact, Vivida, I'm in love with you. <laughs> well, um, that wasn't quite the reaction I expected at the declaration of my love. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help think of all the countless helpless women you've said exact same words to. <laughs> Does that mean you don't believe me then? Of course I believe you. And I love you too. I just hope I'm not making a mistake.
Abdullahi! Don't you think it's rather too late coming back home? And that too without your guards? My prince, how can you be so careless as to send back your guards when you knew you were going to be out until this late? Abdullahi, my good friend, why all these questions? I don't remember anyone assigning you master over my life. And besides, I am a free citizen of this nation. I can go in and out as I wish. Not when you're the heir apparent of the Sultan. Look, my duty is to ensure your security. What you did today would have cost me my job. Well, loosen up my good friend. As you can see, nothing happened to me. So why worry? I don't know what has come over you, my prince. I don't know what has come over you that you disregard the security of the most precious thing, your life, and take delight in recklessness. Do you want to know what got into me? Yes. Come. Love, Abdul, that's what it is. Love for Vivida. Love for her carefree kind of lifestyle. I love her and I would do anything for her. Do you understand that? But you have no business loving her, Rashid. You are betrothed to the governor's daughter. That is whom you should be loving. Not some stupid, useless, reckless prostitute from nowhere. How dare you? How dare you speak of Vivida in those terms? If you value your life, don't ever speak of her that way. Now, my good friend, I have invited Vivida here for the weekend. And I expect that you will be as courteous as ever. Got it? Yes, my prince. Leave me. So, Vivada, tell us, how far have you gone with Rashid? Have you got him to fall for you yet? How can you ask such a question, darling? Don't you trust me again? As I speak to you, I have the heart of a prince in my palms. I had the falsehood proclaiming his undying love for me yesterday. And I, in turn, had to proclaim mine. That's good. Really good. So, now that we've gotten him to fall for Vivada, how do we manage the next step? I mean, you have to get onto him real good for the plan to work. Well, for starters, Rashid has invited me over for the weekend. I think that's a good place to start, don't you think? Of course I do. You know, but seriously, we need to take it easy on this guy, okay? I mean, nothing too blunt and just suggestions. Although I've not really met this bastard, but something me tells me that he's not all that of a fool. You have a point there, you know? Yeah. Rashid is going to ask you to share a room with him and <clears throat> If I must warn you, Vivada, he's a highly sexual guy. So, what are you going to do? Sleep with a guy you profess to hate so much, all in the name of revenge? Why don't you let me worry about that? I don't think I'm hungry anymore. You don't hate your staff. I love you. Arrived. 
I was almost afraid that you wouldn't show up. Why would you think that? I promised you, didn't I? Call it rumbling of an insecure heart. But now that you're here, it doesn't really matter. Come and see that. Be by that. there's an explanation for his behavior. Now come, tell me, what took you so long to show up? my love. I'm sorry if I startled you, uh, but I don't spend my evenings gobbling up beautiful women like you, if that's what you're thinking. It's not that. It's just that you caught me unawares. I'm sorry if I did. Um, I was in my room. I was missing your company, so I thought I'd come for a nightcap. Wow. By the way, how do you like your room? I hope it's your taste. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's all right. It's beautiful. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you do. <laughs> Except, I still cannot, for the life of me, understand why you insist on a separate room. You don't want us to argue about that again, do you? Well... Maybe not for now. Exactly. <laughs> Do you mind? To us. To us. <laughs> yes, we matter. Be my wife. An unmistakable feeling. Love knows no wrong or right. Love has no borders at all. I love you. Why? It's not right. It's, we just can't. Why not? You could never be wrong. This is the most right thing that has ever happened to me. 
to us. You don't understand. Then make me understand. Because your attitude is puzzling to say the least. Is it that you don't want me? No. I mean, yes, I want you. But not like this, not here, not, not now. Gosh, I'm not making any sense, am I? Explain yourself. Rashid. Look, it's, it's not like I don't want you or like I don't love you enough to want to make love to you. It's just that... It's just that I promised myself that I wouldn't do it except with my husband. You know, after my wedding. What do you mean? What is it? Are you saying you have never... Wait, wait. Are you a virgin? <laughs> Good to give you my glass. <laughs> this calls for a toast. I mean, you should have said this in the first place. Instead of getting my mind all worked up thinking there was something wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you must agree it's not something a girl will readily admit to considering my age. It's kind of embarrassing. No, it's not. I think it's delightful. Yes, it is. Here you go. You should be proud of the fact that you are keeping yourself for the right man. For me, Nikade. Well, so, now that you know, I hope you will understand and will forgive me. Oh yes, I do. I understand. And I forgive you. Except it's going to be a long, excruciating wait. But I can wait. To my wait. long as you want me to. How far have you gone with Rashid? Have you got him to fall for you yet? How can you ask such a question, darling? Don't you trust me again? As I speak to you, I have the heart of a prince in my palms. I had the poor sword proclaiming his undying love for me yesterday. I, in turn, had to proclaim mine. That's good. Really good. 
So now that we've gotten him to fall for Vivada, how do we manage the next step? I mean, you have to get onto him real good for the plan to work. Love is an you must rest now. Why? Right. Is it comfortable? Okay. My love, you need to get some rest, alright? Get as much rest as possible. You'll be fine. Now, I will send in one of the servants to bring you a tranquilizer. Rashid, please, please. Stay with me, don't go. Vivida. You are safe. Okay? Nothing will happen to you. But the bride... What does she want from me? She doesn't want anything from you. But she tried to kill me. I mean... You told me you were never married, so... Who is she to you? Vida. This is nothing to worry your pretty face about. Okay? Now, just get some rest. Alright? Rashid? Yes, Vivaya. The bride. She seemed so sad. How did she die? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Just, just sleep. Okay? Sleep. First time I set my eyes on you, I couldn't let you off my mind. I thought of you all day and night, and want to hold you close to me. It's time I think of what you are, getting you close is all I want. Been next to you, saying how much. Abu! Good day, my prince. You have been quite scarce lately since Vivida moved into this house, supposedly trying to communicate your disapproval. Well, now, my good friend, tell me, what do I owe this reappearance? There's an email from the palace in Sokotu. The Sultan is seriously ill. Baba is ill? Yes, and your presence is needed urgently. Indeed, Abdul. We must leave for Sokoto at once. So should I commence preparations for the journey? Yes, Abdul. Go immediately. Waste no time. Still shaking a little bit, but I'll be fine. I can see that. I believe so too. Because you are made of sterner stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I love you so. Rashid, you're always coming up with different reasons why you believe you fell in love with me. That should only tell you how much I love you. That when I say I do, it's not child's play. Because I truly do. I love you too. I know. I know. Vivida, I was wondering, will you go with me to Sokoto? What's happening in Sokoto? I received a message today that my father is terribly ill. Oh, oh my God, Rashid. 
I'm really sorry. He demands to see me. And I wish you'd go with me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you asking me to come meet your father? Yes. I mean, now that we're about to get married, isn't it proper that we get approval from my father? Or have you changed your mind about marrying me? <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, why would you think that? Well, what about the incident that has been happening ever since you said you would get married to me? Isn't that good enough to scare you away? Let's just say I'm giving you benefit of doubt. I'm still waiting for you to tell me what is going on. And until you're ready, I reserve my comment. So, does that mean you're in for the trip? Rashid, <laughs> look, meeting a sultan is not a small task and I don't know if I have the courage. <laughs> Now, that coming from you is a big laugh. Say yes. Go with me. My father will adore you. I don't know, Rashid. Love is an Say yes. Okay. I'll go with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Love has no borders at all. I love you. I love you. Adeze, Rashid has invited me to go with him to Sokoto to meet his father, the Sultan, and will leave first flight tomorrow morning. I cannot say all in this text message, and you know why. But I feel in my bones that this trip is the right thing to do, seeing as we're going to the place where the accident actually happened. I pray that I'll be able to learn more to help us unravel this puzzle. Inform Nora and please come over as soon as you can. Take care. making a grave mistake. How do you figure that out? It's obvious. Your father, the Sultan, is ill. The last thing he should be faced with is a repeat of the fiasco that happened the last time you went home. Really? Yes, really. Now, my prince, please stop fooling around with this Vivada. She can't be your bride. Your place is with Aisha. You're betrothed. Only God knows how she will feel if you go to face her with another Igbo girl. Now, Abdo, listen to me real carefully. How long will it take you to understand that I really don't give a hoot about what Aisha does or doesn't do? 
I have found the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Now, too bad if you or Aisha is not happy about it. My prince, the way you're going, if I didn't know you better, I would think she's one of those girls you promised marriage to. But Aisha has been betrothed to you for 27 years. It is believed that one day you will marry. Now, that's where you have it wrong, my friend. I have never for one day thought that is true. Now, you hear me. Aisha has never been my type and never will be. So, you will bring disgrace upon your father? You will make the Sultan go back on his words because of that girl? That Vivada? Now, Abdul, contrary to your words, Abdul, Baba is a very understanding man. And he will not hold me to the promise once he realizes that my heart belongs to Vivida and that I am willing to stand by her no matter what. Unlike he did for Ella, I suppose. Look, my prince, have you bothered to ask yourself why so many strange things are happening ever since your association with Vivida? Now, first of all, Ella's ghost seems to be restless. She seems to be haunting you all the time. Ever since Vivada came into the picture. Now you listen to me, Abdul. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Hi, uh, you took so long. What happened? Um, we're sorting some things out. Shall we? Yeah, sure. I'm after you. You're back. Yes, Baba. I came immediately I heard the news. I spoke to Dr. Mohammed and he said your condition is quite critical. Forget about Mohammed. What does he know about medicine? Oh, he does. He knows a lot. Except this time, we want you to travel abroad. We want you to have the best medical care. You don't have to bother yourself about that. It is the old heart, you know. It's growing weak every day. I know. But we don't want it to give up just yet. That is why we want you to travel. I heard abroad they have medicine that can work wonders for a heart problem like yours. Tell me. Tell me about the girl you brought home with you. I learned that she is from the East. Is that true? News does travel fast. But, yes. Yes, Baba. What is your stand on this one, son? Uh, I love her. I love her very much. 
And if only you give me your consent and your blessing, I will make her my bride. You never did love uh, Aisha, did you? No. I'm sorry. Well, is this one like the other one you brought the last time? No. Vivada is not anything like Ella. It's like they are on opposite sides. Vivada is outspoken. She's lively. Fun to be with. Everything a prince wants in a woman. From your tone, it looks like you love this one so much. Yes, I do, Baba. I love her very much. And you will get to love her too the minute you meet her. Well, I'm tired now. You bring her to me when I'm rested. I've got to see this beautiful girl that so captured your heart. I will. Get some rest. You're welcome home, my son. You may sit down for now. So, are you the girl that so entrailed my son? He tells me that he wants to marry you. Is that so? Yes, Your Highness. And are you in the same feeling? Are you in love with my son enough to marry him? So, um, yes. Yes, Your Highness. Twice you hesitate before answering my question. And I wonder why. I'm sorry, Your Highness. But as someone who's conversant with certain norms and traditions of most tribes of this nation, I know that being a prince and being the only heir to the throne, you must have chosen a bride for him. And as such, may see me as an intrusion. That's true, my child. What you say is true. Rashid certainly does have somebody has been betrothed almost all his life. But there comes a time when one has to do away with his leaning towards tradition and allow the law of nature to take its course. And I believe such time is now so all I ask is, can you make my son happy? Because it is wanting to be loved and quite another to be happy in love. So I ask, will you do both to Rashid? Yes, 
Your Highness, I love your son very much. And I'll make him happy. I promise. Then you are welcome into my household, Vivida. And one day, you must tell me how you come about that name. I tell you, it is most strange. <laughs> That's the place I was telling you about. You have a beautiful home here. You must be proud. Oh yes, I am. Very proud. This place has lots of memories. I mean, it's my heritage after all. And uh, I can't wait to share it all with you. Not so fast. You know, your father hasn't given his 100% approval yet. Oh, yes, he has. He welcomed you into our home. In my books, that's 100% approval. And I still can't get over the fact how easily that was. Very successful. I must confess, I was shaking in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happens to your betrothed now? Um, I think Papa has to speak to Aisha's people, but that can only be after his trip when he comes back. I hope you don't mind. No, not at all. I'm not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry? Do I sense that you are not very much interested in getting married to me? Rashid, that's not what I meant. All I was trying to say is it doesn't matter how long, as long as we're together in the end. All right. I understand. So, take a look there. See the... Oh! Uh -huh. Yeah. The bedroom. Yeah, is it still there? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is where I used to swing. So really, this house has lots of memories. Love is an My love, I'm just going to see Baba off at the airport. I'll be back soon. Take care of yourself. Rashid. I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. Don't wonder why. Okay? <laughs> no, I won't. I'll miss you. Rashid brought home with him. I beg your pardon? Who are you? I see no one deemed it fit to tell you about me. I am Aisha Bellu, Governor Atiku Bellu's daughter, Rashid's fiancé. Oh. <laughs> right. 
I've heard about you, all right. You're a pampered girl who still hangs on to outdated tradition in order to secure herself a man because left on her own, she'll never get the likes of Prince Rashid to look at her. How dare you insult me, you Eastern prostitute? Do you know what I can do to you? Do you know the daughter of who I am? I believe you made yourself quite clear when you introduced yourself, Aisha Atikubelo. Hmm. I see you've got gods. More gods than the last slot Rashid brought. Well, I warn you, leave my man for me and leave this state while you last at it or else you'll be sorry. Are you threatening me? Well, I don't care how you take it. Do as you are advised. Goodbye. Fun is a shot, shot, shot. Jake, you don't want to get out There you are. I've been all over the place looking for you and the servant said you were up in here. Why are you up in the room all alone? Your father is on his way, I suppose. Oh, yes, he is. His flight took off about an hour ago. Is there something the matter, my love? Is that how you greet your prince? How else do you want me to greet you? How else? after being harassed by your darling betrothed. And then, I come up here and I find this waiting for me. Aisha was here. And, and, what is that? Don't you recognize it? No. It's a diary belonging to somebody named Ella. I believe the same woman who keeps appearing to me. The same Ella whose name is constantly mentioned. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? <sighs> On the 16th of November, Ella Okoye wedded Prince Rashid Umar Hassan. Who told you that? Now tell me who! Get your filthy hands off me. Nobody told me anything. It's all written here in black and white in your late wife's diary. nothing to explain, Rashid. I know everything now. You deceived this Ella girl into marrying you. And then you leveled some stupid accusation at her and denied her in front of your father. You betrayed your wife, Rashid, and you lied to me. You're right my love. Now just let me... Don't call me that. Don't call me that because you don't know the meaning of that word. Bivida. Bivida, come back here at once. Be bye Abdullahi, are you trying to tell me that you have no idea how Ella's diary appeared in Vivida's room? Or are you just trying to cause a rift between Vivida and myself? Why would I want to do that, my prince? Why would you want to do that? That's my question! I should be asking that question, Abdullahi. And I cannot understand on the life of me why, why you detest Vivida so much. And why? Why all these questions popping up about Ella everywhere she turns? I don't know why all these things are happening. But have you bothered to ask Vivida? She might know something we don't... What is that supposed to mean? Yes, maybe. Just maybe she's not as pristine as she makes it out to be. Besides, Ella's ghost had never appeared before till she came into the picture. And how come no one has ever seen her? If you ask, 
I think Vivida knows something she's not telling. You think Vivida knows something? Yes. What does she know? Tell me. Like the real secret behind Ella's death. How dare you! How dare you! Insinuates that Ella didn't die the way she did. To an accident. Were you not there? Were you not there when the police showed up and gave their report? That she was drunk and drove over the cliff? Were you not there? If that is what you truly believe, then why the guilt trip, my prince? Besides, if I can vividly remember, there was an urgency to get rid of her body. Maybe you could be. Yes, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't get rid of her like that. Are you insinuating that I killed Ella? Nothing of that sort. Nothing of that sort, my prince. Even if you did, there is nothing I can do. Besides, we are friends, and friends are meant to keep secrets. Thank you, Abdullahi. But no thank you. That is one confidence I can do without. I did not kill Ella. And the truth must be told. I just don't know what to do about this situation. And all the pains that is causing Vivida. I must get to the root of this. I must. Then permit me, my prince. Permit me to do a little digging of my own. My suspicions might turn out to be true. Fair enough. I permit you, Abdullah. Go ahead. Dig all you can and solve this mystery before it drives me crazy. But be warned. If your suspicion is anywhere related to Vivida, you will have me to contend with. Now go there and carry this. Now leave. I'm only returning the trust. And I know that you will not do anything to destroy what we have. Love is an undescribable thing. Vivada, I love you. Love is an undescribable thing.